Give it a time for ammunition. Total cash in these four. One hundred thousand and one uh, and fifteen hundred. Oh, what a horrible, horrible threshold to make. The old feudal system versus the new empire. A journalist dissemination. The emperor is leading a double life. And is the emperor part of one twin? No, this is all poppycock. Why? Why do these journalists keep thinking up this way? They even ate a few and that didn't help. Ugh. Revenue increase, good, good. Yes, this is all very good. Prosper, what brings you to my bridge? What do you think of my constitutional draft, Commander? Is it not a pinnacle of progress? No longer will we have just the formal list of six. No, all of the civilized races will be deemed equal before every court and institution in the realm. It will be a great stride forward along the long road of perfecting our society. And I'm certain already it has the dragon's backing. Hmm. Well, I'm certain it will need some improvements, but I'll read through this. Hmm. What calls me to the bar? I wonder why Prospera would suggest such a radical reform of law, Commander. Indeed. Why she would want it in writing that all of us are each other's equals. It's not a bad idea per se, but I wonder if she hasn't some ulterior motive. Remember that these lizards are all more slippery than an eel in a barrel of snot. Hmm. I don't think that's lizards. I think that's usually amphibians, if you're thinking of. Hmm. Edmund, Folly your thoughts. has taken hold of Prospera, Commander. Senselessness instilled by an overtly prolonged exposure to the vulgar vagaries of lesser counselors. Wow, that's Words a nice... Words like peace, stability, respect, bit of cooperation are being flounced about as if they really mean anything beyond these walls. As if they are anything more than philosophical placebos intended to make politicians feel important. Hmm. I see. The daft woman wants to draft a unifying constitution that actually says, we hold this truth to be self-evident, that all the races are created equal. Equal? She must be more demented than a vegetarian cannibal. Hmm. I, I don't know if 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 the uh, if 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 the creature is a plant creature, it could be a vegetarian cannibal. Now I may drink with a dwarf from time to time if there be no other company. I may parley with an imp if it's techno babble I'm after. But to call these beings my equals is a sea-spanning bridge too far, and I'd like you mm. to stop Prospera's proposal dead in its tracks. I must agree on this one. <laughs> Uh, that idealism uh, takes a run with the truth. Soon she'll say dragons are equal to all next. Thank you, Commander. You ease me of a heavy burden. And do rest assured, never shall I maintain that dragons are equal to lizards. Good, good. We are far greater in scope of mind and thinking. Well... I have some research points to uh, save them. Let's spend them. Back to normal voicing. Uh, uh, I think we have a lot of... Uh, we don't really use Zeppelins or Shamans too often. Ah, something for the Devastator, eh? Besiege. Siege mode, losing all the mobility, far greater attack rates. That sounds cool. Kind of like a siege tank. If we bind that. And the bombs away for imp fighters is good. Mining for armor, sure. Um, well, we'll do the transport thing. Oh, I should have gone death from above. Oh well, next time. We can make so many research points with fruiters in no time. Alrighty then. Well, we have a. Uh, We've retaken, uh, let's go down here. We've retaken Bathfoon and we'll be holding that uh, firmly in our grasp. And so well, we haven't lost any ground, so that's very, very good. We'll move this one over there and let us keep uh, an eye out for transport and everything trying to sneak by. 
I build a war factory over here to keep um, our forces mobile. Let's see, what shall we buy here? Hmm. Two devastators, one hunter. Let's make that four hunters. Now, I am eager to hold an invasion of this little isle in the future. But, uh, I will need to... We'll need an army to build an army here, which honestly is not. But we'll we'll use this whole invasion fleet here to make uh, to make an actual invasion fleet. That's a good idea. So we have uh, six. Let's see what we can buy here. Because our first strike fleet is kind of petered out in the mainland. They'll just be holding tight, and then uh, soon we'll hopefully launch a second. Uh, army. So I think I want um, a bunch of devastators. It's nice. Let's make f four devastators. Let's make four of every tank if we can. That's a good solution. Oh, we've run out of money. Oh well. So we'll be loading these ships up. So, uh, yeah, that should fill some ships up. Good, nothing much more to do. Then, uh, let time pass. Could try holding an invasion here. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Though it would be, uh, probably get attacked a lot. Well, this is easily defensible. I'll say we'll leave it as such. Let uh, yellow and green fight it out amongst themselves. Hmm, uh, what will this turn bring? Yeah, they are probably trying to take some of their lands back. How did they get to the middle? How did they get- How did they get past my things? Oh well. He's green, they are a sneaky bunch. Oh, they are holding a big invasion of Kamir Mayala. Blah, 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 blah. Well, these ships are all gonna get nuked by the uh, thing. By the juggernauts, by our navy, so that's good. But yeah, they are holding a little bit of an invasion over here. 17% chance to win. We'll probably have to interfere there. This, we don't need to interfere, slaughter them. And there we go, solidly slaughtered. Dun dun dun. Yeah, they're putting everything in here. We will need to do up our defense on this shore. But I think we can hold it if we uh, get some mercenaries out there, and I think we have a few. We have some fighters. See that? Honestly, if we uh, give some buffs to them, we might actually be able to just win this. The enemy troopers have 75% health. These are all enemy troopers. Boom. We'll attack with less range. Boom. Yeah, we'll just dump some cards on there and win this. And more damage for my fighters. Did that even make a difference? No. Okay then, I think we'll easily win this. There we go. It just gets slaughtered. Yeah, I didn't even have to interfere. How nice. These imp fighters are a lot better than I uh, thought. Maybe I should make more of them. Remote transport termination! Still about 100,000 deaths! Oh, the better humanity! Prosper the quests for equality! But dragon more equal than others, says Emperor! How nicely put, yes, I do believe such. A man about the raven! Many ever wonder if the Emperor can keep it up! 
What, my conquest, you mean? Yes, yes, I most definitely can. Down between man and dragon! Are we getting poetic now? Our generals and for exile. Influence the empire. We got some mercenaries. Receive one gold per turn from each dwarven country. And one gold, one gold per turn uh, for lizard countries. Okay. Curious. And more mercenaries. I like mercenaries. Well, that's uh, what brings you two to my Cut bridge. Cut that reptilian rotter of an Edmund. He sank dear Prospera's scheme, and the ship it sailed on was laden with golden riches. A scheme? He cost me dearly, Commander, and I pray the deep may swallow him as well. Hmm. I do not like you people scheming without my consent. That idiot. What is this about? Gone is months of careful planning between me and Sir Falstaff. Oh, you might as well know, Commander. Of course, my law of equality didn't stem completely from a hut overflowing with the milk of human kindness. It would have I made us that. all equal, yes, but equally responsible to the kingdom as well. Because of our strong economies, we lizards, and especially the dwarves, pay a disproportional amount of taxes, you see. Ooh. Something we wanted to rectify. The treaty would have done just that, but now two races will continue to pay through their noses because of the silly contempt of one obstinate dogmatist. Oh, what folly. Hmm. I'm actually glad this scheme was solved. It was like getting tricked over by you politicians. You must serve to the good of the Empire, and that means serving the good of your Emperor. Your Draconic Emperor. I'm guessing the Imp Trinculo's happy. Prosperous plans are out the door, Commander. Powdered pistols, a closer shave would have cut bone. That crafty lizard almost cost us a hat and a half, I can tell you that. Luckily, dear old Eddie would have none of it. Hmm, Edmund, how have you rectified this, uh... This little, how have you stopped this little scheme? I'm eager to hear of your mm, legal heroics. Demons from the depths take me, Commander, for I, Edmund, have been a fool. Oh? A triad of letters I have received by the hands, paws, and claws of Oberon, Trinculo, and Yorick, in which they thank me for the role I have played in scrapping Prospera's constitutional draft, for piercing the veil of her evil scheme. It was quite That's wicked. That's just it, Commander. I did not pierce a thing, for I was more blind than a cataract-stricken cyclops. Such mm. was my reluctance to be deemed equal with imps and elves, that I failed to perceive the subtlety of her plans. Do not ask me what they were. She'll explain with irate gusto, I'm sure. Yes, she has. What I'm glad you is how the depths of dislike for all that walks and talks but is not lizard has clouded my greatest pride. The intellect that elevates me above most of the living. The experience is humbling, but of a passing nature, I conjecture. Won't it be, Commander? No, hopefully it won't be. Learn that you are not as great as you think you are. While you have scales, you will never fly as I do. I'm guessing Henry would be amused. Uh, I told you, Commander. I told you Prosperous plans weren't quite above board. And now the ever dapper Edmund has gone and put his foot in it. Believe you me, it'll take a good long while to get rid of the stink, too. <laughs> <laughs> Amusing, Henry. Amusing uh, commentary. Commander, despite the oh. imp's frivolous nature, they are surprisingly strict and severe in the classroom. Mm -hmm. In fact, they don't shy away from corporal punishment with amazing results to show for it. Everybody knows they have the best and brightest students. Therefore, let's make this a nationwide practice, I say. Give every teacher a cat of seven tails, one for each of the gods. Hmm. I see. Have these effects indeed been so... so success, so... effective, Trinculo? What can I say, Commander? We imps are the best and the brightest indeed. But because we're born as an oh, unruly and undisciplined lot, we have to use force for our own good. Pleasant to know, though, the undead think we set a good example. Mm hmm Well, if it gets results, prosper. If the imps have to resort to corporal punishment to establish a bit of decorum, I think that simply makes them bad educators. We lizards will have none of such unwarranted harshness. Hmm. 
You may say so, but apparently the results would argue. So Falstaff. If Yorick thinks I'll support his bid to have our children whipped by teachers, he has another thing coming. It'll take you a good long time to catch a dumb dwarf, thank you very much. And if a pupil is being unruly, a good tongue lashing should suffice to set him straight. That is true, the word, the word of uh, The word can sting quite a bit, especially if there's magic in the word. Oberon, of I'm course. Sure. What better way to motivate a student than to beat him within an inch of his life? Well, yes. Once more, Yorick herds us all along the tranquil path to enlightenment. Stupid skeletal sadist. You know he's standing right next to you, right? Still, I don't hear anyone arguing about the effectiveness of these punishment. I say go for it. Glory be. To chastise is to cherish. Let that be our teacher's motto. Every child in the realm will either study or feel the sting of the cane. Indeed. Everyone will serve or be disposed of. Excellent. Well, we're getting quite a bit done in these episodes. So, uh, we were building a invasion fleet to take out the little isles of Sybil the Silent, the green player. Let's see, how full can we pack these uh, transports? Now, we put a uh, trooper in each one of these. Here, listen to this song. I wonder if everyone else is hearing, uh, I was made for love of you, baby, you were made for love of me. Because I think it's that melody. All right, here it differentiates a bit, but still, it's in there. I'm not crazy. Only slightly crazy. So we still have three boats to fill. I say we'll make four hunters. And uh, we have death saved hunters. Um, we put three grenadiers with them. That's uh, yes. And shall we make one ship of? Uh... Yes, I think we'll make one uh, boat of troopers. There you go. This should nicely fill up our invasion fleet. Meanwhile, let's see if we cannot make another thing. No, we need more gold. All right then, I think it's time. Uh... Let's see what type of uh, uh, they have. They've moved a bunch of fighters. Honestly, I think we might also make a few fighters. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We have money to spare. I want a. Uh... Oh, we can make more fighters here. There we go. A fighter squadron of uh, free total. That should be fine. And that leaves us out of gold. Hopefully these forces can hold the... Uh, hold the tide for uh, the en against the enemy. Honestly, maybe we should bring that bomber balloon. No, no, I think we have drained them a little bit. We could just smash their forces on the land. Yeah, but we can't really invade now. Hmm. I'll have to give it a think over. I think we can just let the uh, turns go now. Let's do it. Oh, Sibyl, who are you going to fight? Right now he's uh, just moving, uh, preparing. Oh, he's attacking that again. He's always attacking that little isle. They want it so badly. 
But we have more mercenaries, thanks to Edmund. Yeah, that's the only battle. I think with uh, a few mercenaries we can win this. That's some, uh, some of these. There we go. Then we put something uh, against the enemy. What do we have? Uh, juggernauts, devastators, shamans, grenadiers. Do they have many? No, they have no grenadiers. They don't have warships. We don't have fighters here. No, we don't have much of anything. Okay then. Um, we could put a general in charge. Let's see, 78. Yeah, I think this one will be for Scarlet. Do it, girl! Yeah! 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 Show them what a, what a, what a punk can do. No! You've lost! We've lost! Oh dear, we'll have to now take the island. They finally got it. Oh, this is a shame. Oh, the shame. I guess I'll just trunch my invasion force past there. Let's see if we have some final interesting thing with the Ripple of Time Port ammunition. With the total casualty of wars, still just a little bit past 100,000. General Torpedo's own cancellous master plan turns, from, turns blue from shame. <laughs> Emperor, let's teach us beat children to death. Good motivation, he claims. I agree. That's indeed my statement. Write it down. And write it down properly or your teacher will beat you. Time to go, Emperor. Why the our Emperor should step down? And who should take over? No one. Yes, we have more research so we don't need it and less population uh, increase. Well, it actually, like strategy wise, it actually does not serve us at all. But it is a role-playing thing, and uh, yeah, it will be what uh, our great emperor would do. I have some increased movement points for soon station there. Ooh, this, this may be very handy when we begin the actual invasion. We'll probably use that soon. Or maybe I also... Oh, a bomber balloon mercenaries. How cool. Well, I don't think there's any one thing requiring my attention, so we'll, I'll just continue the war off screen and uh, when we get back we'll have more uh, exciting decisions to make. Hopefully maybe we'll be ending the war on the mainland soon. That would be good. Anyways, good day.